time to hold the politicians who enable this accountable. Every member of the Illinois congressional delegation voted on July 11th to support the Israeli aggression against Gaza. Yeah. yeah. You're here today in solidarity with the people of Palestine. It's my people. I'm with them, not just solidarity. What are you on trial for? I was trying to understand. What? What are you? You're going to trial um, this week. Yeah, steady first. Yeah. For what though? I don't know. We will have go and see. So it's not like you don't know what the charges are? We will go and see. عرفت فيما بعد انه اسمه سوبر سول ها بالقدس الغربيه يعني مثلا رسمي عوده كانت هي داخله في الموضوع اكثر مني هي ورشيد عبيدو يعني رايحين ودارسين وقدموا وهم احكوا عن الموضوع واعطوا التقرير له في عندي شغله انا وحده دخلت فيها اثناء الاعداد المتفجرات يعني انه طب بدنا نحط قنبلتين في نفس التوقيت فأنا اقترحت أن تكون القنبلة الثانية بعد بخمس دقائق أو ست دقائق حتى لما تنفجر اللي يروح فيها جيش ومخابرات يعني هذا بيزيد حقدي على اللي هم السبب يعني ليش أنا مش أنا السبب يعني السبب الاحتلال Excuse me, Rasmia. I saw you in Women in Struggle. You were brilliant in that movie. When you talk about planning the two different bombs. No, I don't want to speak. You don't want to speak? Even though you killed those people. How many other terrorists are here? You think? Do you mean Israel killed the children? This is what you want to say now? Some people might think that Rasmi Odea could claim to be a, a guerrilla fighter and that uh, she was waging war against the state of Israel. Uh, but that's a very flimsy, weak argument in my eyes because guerrillas generally are uh, engaged in military activity against a military force, not against innocent public. So that, that doesn't hold water in, in my opinion. People of conscience understand this for what it is. Another Palestinian, another Arab, another Muslim coming under political and legal attack for being Palestinian, Arab, or Muslim. An entire community is under attack because it dares to challenge Islamophobia, because it dares to challenge US wars and occupation, because it dares to challenge unequivocal U.S. support for Israel's crimes against the Palestinian people. Repression by law enforcement in this country tries to quiet and silence people from speaking out about social justice issues, whether it's 
the, the black liberation movement in this country, whether it's the Puerto Rican independence movement in this city and in this country, um, whether it's all kinds of social justice movements, women's rights and environmental rights and that sort of thing, that's what law enforcement does. What do we want now? What do we want? Free Brasilia! This law has been applied to Polish citizens who were accused of war crimes, Nazis, Mexican citizens, so it's not just a Middle Eastern news. Um, why do you think that they are singling her out uh, unjustly when this has been applied in so many other cases? Well, I, you're correct. It has been applied to other nationalities, and it's been used to deport other pe other people. And of course, one of the cases we're very familiar with are ex-Nazis who, who lied about their, their involvement in that. But what I think is going on here is, is that after 9-11, there is a, a kind of a prejudice against Muslim people, against Arab people. And that's fueled by the Israeli lobby in this country. And here is a woman that uh, is just serving her community. And all of a sudden, we see that there's been an attack on the Palestinian community in Chicago. Those of you who are maybe wondering why at CARE we would be concerned about this, it's not just because of Rasmia's individual case or us being defenders of the Palestinian struggle. We also know that there's a direct correlation between the Zionist lobby and the influence on our government. What? Free Brazil! What do we want it? Now! What do we want? Free Brazil! It just infuriates me that this country continues to discriminate on color, religion, and that they are so desperate that they go back into the past to do that. It's just, uh, being a woman of color, I understand discrimination. I live with it every day. And it's, it's horrible this country still continues to do that after all these years. I, I cannot tell you how shocked I was, but how proud I was to be part of the American Friends Service Committee and our belief that love and, and um, nonviolence and that we should be able to love folks who are different from us. Why is it? Why is it we're unable to do that as a country, as a people, that we also seem to want to persecute, discriminate, uh, find fault with anyone that looks different, that walks different, that believes different than me? She was arrested by an Israeli military court, which detains Palestinians without charge, and she was tortured into a confession for a crime that she did not commit. They're saying that she lied about an arrest that she had in, by, in Israel. And as a matter of fact, she was held illegally by Israel for a long time and tortured and then released in this prisoner exchange. And there's no reason to believe that they didn't know that when she applied for asylum. I mean, when she applied to be a citizen here. They investigated her. Ten years ago, they decided she met the criteria. They let her in, but now they're dredging up this as an excuse to go after her. How and long ago was the uh, Israeli? Uh, 45 years ago. I mean, this woman is a 65-year-old woman. They're going after a senior citizen. For Rasmia! Rasmia's arrest and prosecution. Just to be clear, is she disputing that she was involved in the bombing? To be clear, um, I'm not the person to speak about that. And all the PR and demonstrations which are taking place have got nothing to do with the legal process. My reaction is one of complete contempt. Uh, I find it disgusting, disgraceful. She's a simple murderer. 
and for her to come to the US to try and take advantage of circumstances and to say that she was persecuted, blah, 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 is an absolute disgusting, not even a joke, it's a disgrace. And I hope that the US justice system doesn't fall prey to, to an attempt to in some way um, take advantage of, of a legal system. When I look at pictures of Rasmi Oder, obviously the first thing I see are uh, images of my parents at my brother's funeral. That's what comes to mind. Uh, here I see Miss Oder looking, you know, uh, distraught, upset with what's happening to her. And then I contrast that with images I have in my mind of my own family at the time of Edward's death. Um, but the situation in which she finds herself is of her own doing at this point.